everyone, let's continue NOAA class on the general features of TCM. In our last class, we have explained the holistic concept, one of the fundamental features in TCM. In today's class, we are going to learn the second fundamental features in TCM, treatment based on syndrome differentiation. The main content today will cover the three parts. What is syndrome? What is syndrome differentiation? And in the end, we will learn two terms, treating different disease with the same method, known as yi bing tong zhi in Chinese, and treating the same disease in different methods, known as tong bing yi zhi. First of all, we need to figure out what is syndrome. Let's take a look on this cartoon. A very strong man with yellow t-shirt was seeing a doctor. The patient came to the doctor because of stressful feeling in work, even depression, bad temper, insomnia, and overthinking. After checking, the doctor gave him a prescription, the herbal formula, Xiao Yao Pius, which I will explain in my later slide. When the patient saw the doctor's prescription, he was in range. What? This is a prescription for gynecology. Yes, Xiao Yao Pius is a very, very well-known formula in China to treating irregular menstruation. All right, now the question is, what is Xiao Yao Piu? There are several herbal medicinals in the formula, and it is functioning in soothing the liver and rectifying the spleen and nourishing blood to regulate the menses. So why did the doctor give him the prescription? What is the check underlining? The strong man was suffering from anxiety, and the prescription is for menopathy. In this case, both anxiety and menopathy share the same pathological condition. That's the liver constraint and the spleen deficiency. While Xiao Yao pills can soothe the constrained liver and strengthen the weak spleen. Therefore, although anxiety and menopathy are different diseases, but they share the same syndrome in this case. That's why the doctor gave the same treatment. Okay, so this is a demonstration of syndrome. In TCM, when we try to describe a sick patient, there are three terms we usually apply. Bing, zhen, zhen. Bing, disease, zhen, signs and symptoms, and this one, zhen, syndrome. A very special term in TCM, which is the generalization of the pathological condition in a certain stage of the disease. And this diagram can explain the mutual relationship. When TCM diagnoses a syndrome, it should include the following information. The course, the location, and the property, and the condition of the pathogenic factors and the health AT. For example, flame heat obstructing the lung. It is a syndrome. In this case, the course is flame heat. The location is the lung. The property is heat excess. Here, the excess describes the condition between the pathogenic factor and healthy T. Okay, after being clear about syndrome, I think it is easier to understand what is syndrome differentiation. When TCM practitioner sees a patient, he will try to collect all the information by inspection, listening and smelling, inquiring, pulse taking, and palpation. Those are the four diagnostic methods in TCM. When he gets all information, he will make a very comprehensive analysis on this information with theories of TCM. After that, he will figure out the syndrome of the patient. The whole process is syndrome differentiation. Let's take the upper respiratory infection as an example. In Western medicine, upper respiratory infection may be caused by either virus or bacteria. After blood detection, it is clear 
that whether the patient is affected by virus or bacteria. And then the doctor can treat him with antivirus or antibiotics accordingly. Well, in TCM, an upper respiratory infection is named as common cold or external contracted disease or exogenous disease, which can be further differentiated into wind cold and wind heat as the most common syndromes based on a comprehensive analysis on information such as causes, manifestation, and so on. For example, in wind cold syndrome of a common cold, we usually see severe chill, fever, no sweating, cough with clear and thin sputum, white and thin tongue coating, and a superficial and intense pulse. Well, in wind heat syndrome, the patient presents symptoms and signs as severe fever, slight sweating, cough with yellow sputum, thin and yellow tongue coating, and a superficial and rapid pulse. Speaking of treatment principle, in wind cold, we will apply pudget and warm herbs. For herbs with pudget and warm nature can solve the exterior and scatter wind and dissipate cold. In wind heat, pudget and cold herbs will be applied instead. For herbs with pudget and cold nature can solve the exterior and scatter wind and clear heat. So, this is the syndrome differentiation and the implementation of treatment accordingly. In the end, based on our fully understanding on syndrome and syndrome differentiation, we are approached to the last content of today, two drugs. Treating different diseases with the same method, yi bing tong zhi, and treating the same disease with different methods, tong bing yi zhi. I think if we have been very clear about the concept of syndrome, both of these terms won't be a problem to understand. The former means the same therapeutic method can be used to treat different diseases with emergencies of the same syndrome in their courses of the development. The latter means treatment of the same disease may differ due to patient's constitution, climatic and seasonal changes, geographical localities, or differences in pathogenesis. Well, all in all, the underlying story is treatment based on syndrome differentiation. All right, let's make a conclusion on what we have learned on the fundamental features of TCM, the holistic concept, which includes the integrity of the human body and the unit between the body and external environments and treatment based on syndrome differentiation. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.